What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel. My name is Creaker Mariah, and if you're new here, I appreciate you for checking me out. I do uh, music video reactions. I do a lot of artist interviews, mainly in the genre of country rap, independent country rap artists. I do a little bit of news and entertainment, and I host a podcast where I uh, have guests on, and uh, we have a lot of fun talk about life and music. So with that being said, guys, if you would please go ahead and hit the like button for me. It does help the channel. So it's a free way to help support. Um, but also, um, if you know anybody that may enjoy this, please share it with them. And uh, subscribe if you're not already. If you want to get notified anytime I drop content or upload new videos or when I go live, then click the solid bell. The solid bell will notify you 30 minutes before I go live or premiere. So, uh, yeah, pretty much that's that's the four favors that I need from you. And then the rest is just going to be to enjoy the show. Uh, today, I'm actually going to be reviewing the last video that uh, Ryan Upchurch uploaded to his channel. And the name of it is Vernie with, with the Mudflap. So, I know last month uh, Upchurch had went into Operation Ghost, and uh, you guys can go check out the video on that. This is actually the first time that I'm reviewing a video from Upchurch that's not a music video. So this is a first for me, but we're going to try it and uh, see how it goes. So I appreciate all the Creek Squad that maybe tuned in, and uh, let me know in the comments if you've watched the video and what you thought about it uh, after we get through here. So here we go, guys. Got the hell out of Dodge going forward in a Chevy. It's a truck line off the rear. I ain't 21 no more. No need to mention any kind of beer that I may sit. No time for the strip when you're living these rich. Okay, I know this is his new song, If I Were a Truck. Uh, there was no video for the song. It's it's out now with an official audio. I believe it came out just a couple of days ago. Um, but this is the song playing, and uh, we all know there's the Holler Voice truck. I can see the Holler Voice truck right there. And I believe he's driving his new King Ranch uh, edition truck right here. And that's the one that I believe belonged to Meek Mill. So, and I could be wrong. Eating these dogs and cutting these feet. We're gonna <laughs> Ranger and Waylon. Like a hog trying to pay them bills for a V8 on gravel and a couple Bel of years. That's a crazy good looking Bel Air. Mm -hmm. Go to heaven if I'm good, but I'm bad to the bone and the dawn. Was that a new intro? Was that possibly a new intro? What's going on here? <laughs> Nashville news. What's wrong, bro? You want me to do something for you? Let me bring you some food. Oh, Charlie's and Jay Alexander right down the street. It ain't nothing but a thing. Let me, let me bring like a karaoke set there and just hit you with a little hibbly hibbly. What you want me? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay, so I did do a video regarding the Nashville news and uh, what they had said about Upchurch. So you guys can go watch it if you want to get my thoughts and opinions on that. But uh, it seems like he's clapping, clapping back here a little bit, maybe. And uh, I'm not sure what the Vernie with the mud flap title is about, but. This is the videos that we all are used to seeing up church put out. I think that's where we're headed. Um, but I've never reacted to one of these before. So what do you want me to do? Oh, Nashville news. I love the dramatic effect. Every time y'all make a story about me, same as last time when y'all had the, what's her name? Uh, well, I don't know. She had the little, she had that little nutsack chin flap, little thinny sag saddle bag right here. Just looking little epidermis gizzard. I think I know who he's talking about. And if I remember right, she's a, uh, she works as like advocate for battered women, I believe. Um, 
she's an older lady and uh, I believe she works at the courthouse or she works with, I believe like a victim's advocate would be the proper title. If, if he's talking about who I think he's talking about, I want to say her name was Verna. Like a little chandelier of skin, just dangling. He says hello to you. Like, hey, look at me. It's kind of uncomfortable to look at, too. The last time they were talking. Hey, my double chin's uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> but he's not talking about a double chin. He's talking about, like, the saggy, I think the saggy skin that women, like a turkey neck um, that women get when they get older. And men, too. So, hey, aging's a privilege. So. Talking shit about me on the news. <laughs> And I seen it, I was just like, whoa. Like, I almost had to like look away and then like look back and be like, yikes. It's like when you watch them National Geographic things about the tribes and then like one of the ladies comes out and you're like, yo, what the fuck? Them titties though. She's like knee in them mugs. Men kill women. That's the same feeling I got when I seen a little flap thing she got going on. Like one of the ladies comes out and you're like, yo, what the fuck? Them titties though. She's like knee in them mugs. Men kill women. That's the same feel that I got when I seen a little. Yeah, that's that's the lady that I was picturing. Uh, and he, she was on the last time he made the news. I want to say it's like the same day that he took an award and donated it to the sheriffs uh, there in Cheatham County or Ashland City. And uh, yeah, I forget the whole like the whole story, but I know most of what was going on there. And I want to say the chick's name was Nicole Arbor. Uh, but yeah, I, I more so I remember his little dance down the stairs whenever he got out of court. A little flap thing she got going on. Felt like I seen some cannibal tribe tits. <laughs> it had curvature to it too. Like it could have been aerodynamic to a sense. If you took her chin and the fucking gizzard flap, it looked like the front of a boat, kind of fucking nanny nutsack neck. <laughs> Never mind. Ah, don't worry. Fuck these people. They deserve it. Men kill women. They've put me through enough shit. Men kill women. If I Who's this clip he keeps playing of men kill women? Men kill women. <laughs> what in the world? I want to tell you about this lady's fucking toad throat bubble she has. I'm going to do it. Men kill women. Last time she was clucking with her fucking gizzard flap on the news, she was comparing me to a murderer, so. Men kill women. Might I add, after she compared me to a murderer and said I was dangerous and a horrible fucking person, it also got thrown out in court because it wasn't true. Yay me. He so, yeah, so dangerous and so horrible that he uh, took the chick to um, the hospital. To make sure she was all right after i want to say after she faked being roofied or drunk or something and she told uh i want to say it was bunny on bunny's dumb blonde podcast the story about up church being such a phenomenal human being and a gentleman by coming to her rescue and taking her to the hospital. But um, anyway, she ended up suing him, I think. Even though Verna was a liar with an extended gizzard flap because it was warm. I'm assuming that thing stretches out when it's warm and like it shrivels up when it's cold. So it was probably a little had been stretched out of a gizzard that day. All I know is it seems like Vernie with a gizmo fucking really hates guys. Men kill women. <laughs> now it's Vernie with the gizmo. Vernie with the gizmo. But I mean, put yourself in her gizzards, you know? I mean, her shoes. Dating scene must have been hard for her, bro. Men. Even speed dating. They're like, watch out, bro. When we're going around this table doing the dating thing, that thing she's got keeps trying to high five people and i'm just not <laughs> i don't want to high five that thing yeah. that, that thing that gizmo keeps trying to high five people kill women i mean it could be a lifestyle thing she might just that clip is creepy just her saying over and over again men kill women like women kill men too women kill women men kill men women kill men and men kill women sure talk so fucking what much your like point? skin was like oh, 
I can't take any more. I'm dying. I'm going down here. See you later. Which <laughs> is where all of her old jaw is. Her old jaw skin is down there. Jaw. If it was mine, I'd pierce it. I would. I'd put three little rings on it and just fucking hang my Mustang keys on it so I'd never lose them. Her gizzard flap could be useful in a boating accident. <laughs> For real. Think a about sail. it. Here. Turn it into a sail. Sail away. <laughs> What in the world? You're out to sea in a small wooden boat. The wind blows real hard. And the sail breaks. Then what are you going to do? <laughs> well, Vernie with the gizmo can just get in the front. Vernie. Like Titanic. Gizmo. Men kill women. Whoever's with it could be like, look to the left, look to the right. And they could they get where they need to get. <laughs> I mean, if it's warm outside. All right. So I changed my mind. I wouldn't do the three rings thing. No, no, no. I'd get a tattoo of a mud flat girl on it. <laughs> Then you could just pose as a rapper, like a grandma. Like the Playboy bunnies on the uh, truck mud flaps. Get a tattoo. All right. So the title makes sense now. Verna, the victim's advocate with the mud flap, which is actually the uh, the gizmo. The next skin. Grandma rapper with big old neck flap. <laughs> You'd be making people laugh. Grandma rapper. Hey, the world needs laughter. Then you could just pose as a rapper, like a grandma rapper with a big old neck flap. You'd be making people laugh. Hey, the world needs laughter. Probably get more views than you flapping and complaining. You could just flap rap. <laughs> I got a mud flap tat on my skin, purse, coin sack. Men kill women. Flap rap. I'm going to need to see Vernie with the gizmos birth certificate. I want to know who her parents is, bro. Top half looking like some sort of bird. Might have some featherage <laughs> going on there. Bottom half looking like Count Dracula. I was thinking that. Oh, perfect pause. Perfect pause. Uh, she does. She reminds me of like old. No offense. No offense to Verna, but like an old hag. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I said that. Um, and the bottom half like Dracula. God. Somehow both sides look like. Ozzy Osbourne. What really happened down now on Sesame Street? But anyway, enough about that neck meat. Men kill women. Oh, it's not. That that clip. I'm gonna have nightmares of men kill women. Not as pointless and as retarded as the fucking news last night. Last night they put me on <laughs> her parents' is, bro. Top half looking like some sort of bird. Might have some featherage going on there. <laughs> Bottom half looking like Count Dracula. Somehow both sides look like. Ozzy Osbourne. What really happened down now on Sesame Street? But anyway, enough about that neck meat. Men kill women. Well, it's not as pointless and as retarded as the fucking news last night. Last night they put me on the news because I had an opinion about a fucking YouTube video. Goddamn call in the cavalry. Call the police. Call the FBI. Call the CIA. Call NATO. I'm telling Santa Claus. Santa Claus is going to be mad. Call an ambulance. I'm writing Mother Goose a fucking letter about you, <laughs> bitch. Is it really that? I'm writing Mother Goose. And guys, go check out the video I did uh, regarding Upchurch making the news, please. Before you, before you are triggered to put some kind of hate comment, please go watch that video. They didn't arrest him. All I said was, "Hey, this show's fucking fake. I don't think this show's fucking real. I think it's staged because you know this is YouTube, a place where people create content for entertainment. So now what? You got the news." Verney with the gizzard and all of her gizzard friends grabbing their pitchforks, being like, How dare you, you motherfucker? Right, burn him at the stake for having an opinion. No, really, though, in, in all serious, it, it is YouTube, the Fair Use Act. Um, you see it all the time. It's for educational or entertainment or informational purposes. Uh, I think of no media experience and, uh, Fact check this. Um, but anyway, yeah. Why would you say that, you motherfucker? Why did I say why did I say that? I'll tell you why I said that. Because women kill women. I didn't expect it to end already. Uh so he said he said that because Hold on. I was why would you say that, that, you motherfucker? Why did I say why did I say that? I'll tell you why I said that. 
because women don't kill women. Okay, so he that's that's he edited it to say instead of men kill women, women kill men. He said that because women kill men. Anyway, uh you guys make sure you go check out um Check out the the last video I did, not the very last video, but the video I did a couple days ago about Ryan Upchurch making the Nashville news again. And uh, let me know what you think. Uh, but as far as this one, I was just trying to see what the Vernie with the mud flap meant. And I think I know now with more context. Um, I believe the lady's name was Verna, and the mud flap would be her um, gizmo. But uh. I can't really say nothing, you know, hateful because I'm here for, you know, everybody in my channel. But uh, Upchurch definitely put a lot of smiles on people's faces. He's very good at entertaining and making people laugh. So this was the first kind of video like this that I've ever watched and recorded a reaction to. So um, just keep that in mind if you feel compelled to type something hateful. <laughs> but if you're here for the right reasons and uh, you want to support the channel, please hit the like button and uh, share this with somebody you know. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. But otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.